Local agency taking steps to make sure they are prepared to help out if an active shooter situation were to ever happen here ever again. The Edmond Fire Department has added new ballistic gear kits. News Force Natalie Clydesdale got a look at those and has the story. It's something that's very, very worth us putting out there. Nobody ever knows, you know, Nashville today. They didn't expect this to happen. The thought of an unimaginable tragedy like the country saw in Nashville yesterday taking six innocent lives happening close to home is why the Edmond Fire Department has added an extra layer of protection. We need to be able to do the very best job that we can. Last week, the department bought four new sets of ballistic gear. Nationwide, we've seen a, an uptick of uh, fire departments in particular having this type of equipment. Deputy Fire Chief Chris Denton explained that law enforcement typically takes the lead in active shooter situations, but this new gear could allow the fire department to safely get closer to the scene to help out. So instead of staying completely outside, we wanted to be able to maybe come onto the property of a large uh, area that may have, you know, an active shooter. Around $2,000 a piece, each set includes an about 30 pound bulletproof vest. So I have soft armor protection here, right? And this ups the level of protection right here. He says the plate could stop a gunshot from a rifle, while the soft body armor on the sides of the vest could stop a round shot from a handgun. And all this stuff in this kit right here is basically for bleeding control. The set also includes a helmet to protect the skull and brain. So if this was to get shot, then the bullet is not going to penetrate this helmet. As well as a drag bag. See, we strap them and they strap their legs in right there. We can wrap this around them, and then we're able to drag a victim into a safer location. If I had all this stuff on, I would feel much safer and it would allow me cognitively to do my job better. In Edmond, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you, Natalie. And the department now has eight sets of the ballistic gear in total.